Hello and welcome to Microsoft Surgical Endo Educational Institute. My name is Dr. Alan Elinese and I'd like to share with you another obturation technique tutorial using the EndoSequence PC sealers one cone technique. We have tooth number 18 here that is already uh, for obturation. Prior to obturation, cone fitting and confirmation of the full uh, seating of a master cone is very important. So proper cone fitting ensures complete uh, seating of the gutta percha cone. Uh, this case had broken lingual cusps with deep decay that was previously removed. As usual, good isolation is key to success of any system. It is important to understand that success is not achieved by your obturation system. Whether you use vertical, lateral, obturator based, or the one cone system uh, technique, the success is directly related to the quality of cleaning and shaping and not the obturation technique used. Basically, finding all canals and enlarging them to an adequate size apical diameter using a high volume of sodium hypochlorite irrigation are key predictors of success. Here, after uh, fitting of the cones in all three canals, uh, the sealer is placed directly into each um, canal. We're demonstrating a direct injection technique of the BC sealer into each canal. This technique takes some practice to master uh, the proper flow. At the beginning, I highly recommend, though, that the sealer be used in a traditional method of placing the sealer on a paper pad and applying it into each canal with files or paper points, and then placing the cones. Uh, and then practice on extracted teeth is necessary before gaining enough confidence over the correct uh, plunger pressure to control the correct amount of sealer for any given case in order to avoid uh, underfilling or overfilling of the canal. So once the sealer is placed into um, each canal, the cones, corresponding size cones are inserted and the insertion force pushes the sealer down the canal and laterally and the gutta percha acts almost like the plugger um, and the sealer acts like thermoplastic gutta percha. So that's essentially the same kind of rheology and flow idea as vertical condensation except that now due to improvements in sealer technology we're able to use our sealers as our final sealing methods. Previously we were unable to do that using the traditional sealers because traditional sealers used to um, shrink and resorb out of the canal. So here after the insertion of the cones in all the canals um, the 